Of the UK Foreign Secretary David Cameron has expressed concern Israel's actions in Gaza may violate international law. He made the comments on Tuesday while going before a parliamentary committee. For more on this, let's bring in Willem Marx in London, uh, who's been watching this for us. So, Willem, what else did the uh, uh, UK Foreign Secretary have to say? Well, he was facing questioning from lawmakers essentially very soon after coming into this role as Foreign Secretary, Foreign Minister here in the UK. He was repeatedly, almost from the outset, asked about the situation in Gaza. And whenever he was asked initially about Israel's potentially legal compliance with international law, he was evasive. Eventually, he acknowledged that, um, you know, he did have reservations. He personally had concerns watching events unfold in Gaza day to day. And he made a surprising admission. In all these cases, you know, there's a question mark as to whether it is in breach of international humanitarian law. And that's why yep. you have to go back, look at the episode of what in particular was bombed, and then ask yourself the, a bunch of questions, which is what the lawyers do, and they give you that advice. The advice has been so far that they have the commitment the capability and the compliance, but on lots of occasions, that is under question. Now, Cameron did also call for more humanitarian aid to be delivered into Gaza through a variety of crossings into the territory. He also said that the UK supported further humanitarian pauses, but he once again reiterated the British government's position that they would like to see a sustained ceasefire. When asked what that meant, he explained he would like to see Hamas unable in future to militarily threaten Israeli civilians. All right, thanks for that, uh, Villa. We're going to go live now to Tel Aviv, where.